In this video, we're going to look at models of the atom that were used before the model we use today. The first model you need to know about is the Dalton model. In this model, the atom is a solid sphere with no empty space. John Dalton believed that atoms could not be divided into anything smaller. His model also doesn't include any positive or negative charges because protons and electrons hadn't been discovered yet. The second model was the Plum Pudding model. This was developed by J.J. Thompson, who discovered the electron. Like the Dalton model, this model was a solid sphere with no empty space. But unlike the Dalton model, this atom had positive charges. Most of the atom is positive, and it also had negative charges because it had electrons scattered throughout. The next model was the nuclear model, which was developed by Ernest Rutherford, who discovered the nucleus. This model was unlike previous models in that it was mostly empty space, rather than being a solid sphere, and most of the mass was concentrated in the centre, in an area called the nucleus. The nucleus is positively charged, although it doesn't contain any protons or neutrons. We also have electrons, and they are arranged around the nucleus, but they're not in shells. The final model was the Bohr model. This was developed by Niels Bohr after James Chadwick discovered the neutron. Like the nuclear model, this model is mostly empty space, with the mass concentrated in the centre, in the nucleus. The nucleus is still positively charged, but this time it contains protons and neutrons. The electrons are still around the nucleus, but this time they're arranged in shells and they orbit the nucleus. Here are some practice questions on models of the atom for you to try. Pause the video and give them a go. Let's review the answers to these questions. The models of the atom that are solid spheres with no empty space are the Bohr model and the Plum Pudding model. The model that contains no positive or negative charges is the Dalton model. The model that has electrons arranged in shells is the Bohr model. The model that was developed by J.J. Thomson was the Plum Pudding model. The models that have their mass concentrated in the centre in a nucleus are the nuclear model and the Bohr model. The only model that states that atoms cannot be split into anything smaller was the Dalton model. The nucleus in the nuclear model and the Bohr model is different because the Bohr model has protons and neutrons, whereas the nuclear model doesn't have them, it's just a positive area. Ernest Rutherford was responsible for developing the nuclear model of the atom. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has been helpful and I'll see you in the next video.